Meeting of the Minds here, presented by uh, Schwecky Media. My name is Ryan Dorn from All Media, and so thrilled to be here once again to talk about the challenges uh, that publishers across the country are, are facing. For the next 45 minutes or so, we're going to talk about a t- topic that's very hot right now. What you're seeing on your screen is uh, my web browser, and we're going to do some work together live together uh, today. And we're going to talk about search engine optimization. You might say to yourself, Ryan, I'm good. I mean, we're good with search engine optimization. When you type in my magazine name, uh, we pull right up at the top. And what I want to uh, dispel a couple of myths for you today to enlighten you, I hope, a couple of things that are extremely important for all pictures to understand and remember when it t- in terms of search engine optimization. First thing, there's a, a real cause right now, if you will, out there of spending all of their effort and energy on social media. Okay, social media is great. Social media is an important part of the planning that you need to have for best as a sure. But what happens, what's happened lately, and I just did a blog post uh, on this over at uh, RyanDorn.com. Uh, you can check that out if you want some more detail. The folk is getting away competencies when it comes to the internet, one of which is SEO, search engine optimization, because publishers are spending so much time right now with social media. Social media is great, but you have to remember something. If you cannot be found on the internet when someone goes to a website like Google, okay, if you can't be found when someone goes to a website like Google, you are lost, because Google is king. Google is odd. If you <laughs> when it comes to being found on the internet, a couple things. There are four pieces of optimization that are very, very important. The piece is going to be research. We've talked about it a little bit before, but one of the things that's really important for you to understand is what research really means. That's the first thing. The second thing that we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about the structure. Of your, we're going to talk about researching. We're going to talk about the site structure of your site and what that really means to your overall success. The next thing today is we're also then going to talk about social media chatter and what does that really mean uh, to you? Engine optimization for your company. The next thing about is links, and finally, we're going to talk about what's referred to as backlinks. Overall. What do they mean, you know, to your SEO? Okay, what do they mean to your SEO? Those are the legs, if you will, of the SEO stool. Look at some real life magazine examples. And ask yourself, did we cover this before? Did we talk about this before? We did, but not in the detail that I think is necessary for you as a publisher to understand why search and optimization, and it being understood correctly, is mission critical. First, start begin by talking about research, and let's roll forward. And this is not going to be boring. As I know, when you hear research, you think you got to be kidding me, really, Ryan. Research, this is just is going to be just a real snoozer. It's not. This is exciting stuff, and it's important stuff for you to understand. Now, talking to a publisher, and here at Brainswell Media, never forget all of you Schwecky customers, and a, a, a resource to you. Everything we do is 25% off because you are a, a, a customer of Schwecky Media. That's our partnership deal. So together and you need to work you through SEO. Here's the first thing that pushers say. You know what? When you in the name of my magazine, we pull up first. So here's the first example that I'm going to, we're going to work with today, a magazine that is called Creative Knitting. This is not a client of mine, um, and I'm not being paid or anything uh, to endorse them or, or anything like that. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just uh, using them as an example today. Right. So here is the Creative uh, Knitting Magazine website. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over to to Google, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in creative knitting. A lot of magazine publishers do is they go and they type in creative, their name of their magazine. I'm sorry, so it should be creative knitting magazine, okay? And search. Look what happens. They pull up first. Right here they are, first. So that's one on Google, right? Right? And that's publishers say, hey, look at that, in the name of our magazine, we're number one. We're number one. Now, what we need to find out, though, 
find out in the last 30 days, I've actually searched for that phrase, creative knitting magazine. So I go over to Google and Google's AdWords account. Just search for Google account, and you're going to go over and you're going to use uh, the Google AdWords account. I'm going to actually put creative magazine in this phrase box because I don't know how many people have searched for that. I'm going to uh, actually type in the word knitting because I'd like to know many people have that. I'm going to type in some other phrases that you know we should think are important. These are things that we think people interested in knitting might find, uh, help to find us on the Internet. So we've got knitting. Let's do uh, maybe knitting. Um, what's some other things? Maybe some knitting patterns. Okay. We're going to type in, of course, this is CAPTCHA, which is the funky code that allows uh, us to stop spammers from finding us over at AdWords. And let's see what's happened in the last 30 days. Okay. Now, notice here on the res results pull up. Okay. In 30 days, here is Give Knitting Magazine. All right. In the last 30 days, there are three global searches for the term, the phrase Creative Knitting Magazine. So over to Google, so it's on the same page here, okay? In the last 30 days, someone has done just what I did. Type in this box on Creative Knitting Magazine. Okay, 1,300 people that did that. That was 1,300 people. This is the magazine title that they saw here. Okay? They saw magazine.com. A lot of publishers will end there, and they'll say, so we're found there, we're great, right? We're golden. Absolutely not. You are so far from being golden that you have to basically start over every morning because it's horrible. It's, a, it's, it's fine for you to be there, but it's a horrible when you look at this. Let's go back to our Google AdWords tool. Remember, we typed in knitting, okay, because that's actually the topic. actually the topic. In the early days, there have been <laughs> 2.7 million for knitting, 2.7 million searches for knitting. One more time, 2.7 million searches. Now, some of you are saying, well, there's 1.2 million local searches. What does that mean? Well, those of you that know me know that I live just outside of Augusta, Georgia. There's been 1.2 million people locally that are searching for local results related to knitting. That number is highly, highly skewed, either highly conservative, highly skewed. It's not a number that I want to focus on unless you're a local magazine. Okay, they focus in on local searches. Okay, but the local searches here are going to be to me, my IP address, my computer. I'm located in Augusta, Georgia. If you're located in San Antonio, Texas, you're located in Austin, Texas, the re local results you get here are going to be different. So get some help on that. Okay, 2.7 million searches. So, for the term knitting, we want a magazine found for that topic, knitting. Okay, so what we're going to do, go, let's go back over to Google. Now, for Creative Knitting Magazine, you would assume, right, that we found number one for knitting because, after all, we were number one for Creative Knitting. Let's look and see if we can find a magazine. Is it .com? No. Knitting.com? No. Vogue. Um, no. And here's some local results for knitting. So we've gone by three. So in your town, as you would have seen places for knitting near St. Louis, San Antonio, wherever, Houston, wherever you are, Maynard, Michigan. Okay? We still have not found Creative Knitting Magazine. I'm going down the first page. Daily, Knitting Pack Central, Raver. We still have yet to find the Creative Knitting website. Let's keep down here. Let's keep looking. Now, create here is creativeknittingmagazine.com. It's here in the sponsored links, okay? And, and and you can see that they've paid for placement here. I don't know the folks from Creative Knitting. They're wonderful people. So hopefully this is some good analysis for them. They're paying for this, but if I can get myself to the top, I don't want to have to pay. This might cost them as much as a dollar a click. Let's keep looking to see if we can find Creative Knitting Magazine's website. Let's see it. And to the bottom of the second page, nothing. Okay? So what this is, is the only thing they're going to be found in Google is if they're paying here at the top. Okay? I want to try to help them fix 
do, okay? So the first thing we're going to do then is we're doing our research. So we know that Creative Nudity Magazine is seen 1,300 times a month, searched for, and I found for that. So, yeah, that's great news, okay? Knitting, in million terms. Here's the term knitting. Knitting Magazine, 18,100. Knitting Patterns, 63,700. Now, 673,000. Let's go and type in pattern. Google, and let's say knitting patterns. Creative Knitting Magazine is found for that. Okay. I'm here, I don't see them I don't see them yet. I look, Creative Knitting. Does anybody see them? Creative Knitting Magazine. No. A couple things to remember, guys. One thing: magazines are uniquely different. Search engine optimization and working the system, if you will, working in quotes and air quotes, the system. It's really important for everybody to understand that, um, you know, we've only got through point one of four points. And search engine optimization A is not for the faint of heart. First of all, like B, when doing it for a magazine, it's very very different. So knitting patterns, as we do our research here, we've got knitting patterns. So I'm going to imagine that they're probably not found for some of these others, okay? But what we want to do is we need to be found for knitting. We need to be found for knitting patterns, or we can go for a term that's a little less searched, like knit magazines, and we're looking for that at 6,600. See, something to be said about not getting in the fight with all of these 2.7 million searches. You don't want to be in that fight, because if you're the new guy to the fight, that means you're, you know, showing up with maybe a stick, and everybody there is driving a tank. Okay, there is something to be said about going after some of this, what we refer to as sort of low fruit, and that you really work with a search engine expert, especially somebody that knows magazines, about to determine, you know, should I go after the 2.7 million? Okay, now research, and that's how we're going to to do our research and figure figure things out. All right. And I'll give you another example here in a magazine of a, of a website. We worked through this process, and they're doing very, very well. Okay? So over to Creative Knitting. Let's go to their, uh, you know, to their site. Okay? So we're at their digital, digital site for Creative Knitting. And what I've done is actually turned on a tool that highlights the word knitting on their page. There's a couple things in terms of, of <coughs> web structure uh, important for everybody to understand. Your phrase is knitting, then you set up your website so that knitting, the phrase knitting, is prominent and prevalent thing you found ever a website. So you'll notice you look at the screen turned on this highlighter, and so you see the words knitting, and th this is referred to as occurrences of, of, a, of a key phrase. Okay, so here's knitting. So we've got one, three, four, five, six. Okay, 9, 10, 11, 12 right now occurrences, 13, 14, 15 occurrences of knitting on the page. Okay, now how do we do this and how do we beat our competition? Well, what we're going to have is we're going to need to have more relevant occurrences. Now, what you have to be careful of is you can't get into a situation where what, what you're doing is called luring. Basically, you're just repeating the same phrase over again. But I'm only I'm only really covering the surface of this. Basically, what you need is sections and categories all about knitting. You need categories all about the things that we research. So, he's advising this customer on this site uh, that obviously they're already winning for creative knitting, so that's not a problem. They need knitting, a lot of occurrences of knitting. They need occurrences of knitting knitting patterns. Okay, uh, here, here's free knitting patterns. What that's a really great thing to drive traffic from. So a section or a category that's titled free knitting patterns. Okay. We label things, you know, a lot. As I scroll down, you know, here and um, find more things. Here's 90,000 knit patterns. I might set up a section for knit patterns. Now you might say what you're doing, though, is are you giving people what they're looking for? Is that what your goal is? Uh, yes. Typically, you already have the content. Content, okay. So clearly, I'm um, creating, uh, you know, as a website. You know, clearly they already have content, okay, on the website. But they're found 
because they do not have relevant content. Now, Google does have things in place that can see we're trying to game or system. I mean, uh, they're obviously extremely intelligent people. So you set things up in such a way so you can set yourself up for success. Notice that, um, you know, as we're here, let me get over uh, real quick. Let me click the back button here. And let's go to magazine.com. And so the website here, because what it did is Google actually set me off a subscription page. Okay? So here on their website, which, you know, is, is, is very, very nice. What I'm telling you is where Google directed me, there weren't any occurrences. So that in and of itself is a problem. Okay? Let's go and type in knitting again into my tool. And I'm going to highlight all. Okay? The website. Right? Scroll down the page. And this is the analysis that I would work you through if you were a customer of mine. This is a, is, is really important analysis. So let's go and you'll notice here that you've got a, an occurrence here. Here's one. Okay. I do have knitting pattern, which is our keyword list, right? Let's go back over here and look. They do well, actually it's knitting patterns. So they're really knitting patterns. So it would be a way to match it up. Okay. Occurrence. I'm on their main page, guys. Did I type that in wrong? K I T T I N G. Highlight. Oh, there we go. Turn the tool on. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So occurrence here. So that's one, one, two, five, six, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen is on their main page of the freight of the term knitting. What I'm do now. I'm going to go over to back to Google. That's what I found for, okay, and, and and check out. Okay, here's knittinghelp.com. That's number one on the, website, on the, on the page. Okay, and so let's go ahead and click on it. And in this case, okay, so knitting help. This is number one on Google. Good. Holy cow. Did you, notice, did you see what happened? Okay, watch when I turn this on. All the things that are blinking are you know, within the first. Lines of the page, 30 free lines of the page. Is there phrases that are blinking for knitting? Okay. This really isn't littering. I mean, it really is them. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at all, I mean, all the occurrences that are happening within the first 30 lines. I mean, it's, it really at this point is obvious to me, you know, it is that they're pulling up the well. That's just, this is just one part of the, of the puzzle. But, the, I mean, I can see already what the heck is, what the heck is going on. Now, let's go ahead and let's explore a little bit deeper. Okay, so we've done our research, okay, and now we're to the website and we're looking at site structures. Let's go back to the magazine site. So we do even on the main page alone to make it more easily found. The first, we need to have at least as many occurrences as the number one person in the market, all right? So we need to go through and find out. So let's just say here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 20, 22, 23. 2425. So at least 25 occurrences on this website that's number one. So that tells us what? Over here, we need to have at least 25. Here's the information that I can give you. You really need to have, you know, something like 10% of the phrases uh, on your website need to have to be uh, the, the key phrases you're trying to target. So if we look at our research real quick, what you're going to then is you're going to notice in the Google AdWords that you're getting patterns, okay? So now if you want to get found for that, okay, and it's going to help us knitting as well, which is cool. Knitting patterns, you're going to need um, a, a lot of occurrences of that. So let's go to the magazine site again, and let's go type in um, knitting patterns, okay, command V, okay, and let's go highlight all, okay. What I've done is I'm highlighting knitting patterns, okay, website. Here on the knitting website, I'm highlighting knitting patterns. Did spell it correctly, right? Okay, I did. Yes. I'm, and the problem, guys, that I'm having, and so if I'm their SEO consultant or their their internet coach, they don't have occurrences of knitting patterns. Not knitting pattern. Let's back that off one. Okay. Okay. So now we've got uh, one occurrence here of knitting pattern. Right. Here. Let me look. Here. So even if you go on knitting pattern, okay, and it goes into the website. 
particular page, there's not any other mentions, in, mentions of knitting pattern on this page. So what I'm saying to you is that based on research, let's go back over to the Google AdWords, okay? Research, there's not enough knitting patterns to even make them relevant to Google. I mean, there's occurrences on the page. So how do occurrences appear? I mean, what, what, could, what am I talking about? These occurrences could be in terms of how the page is titled. Look at the page, how the page is titled is one thing. You want to look at that? Like here's the content of this uh, you know, particular. It doesn't say anything about knitting pattern in the title. Um, tags, I don't see any tags. I don't see the data. I don't see anything that says knitting patterns in it. Okay, it's no wonder to me that creating dot, uh, creativeknittingmagazine.com is not pulling up. Um, please let me be very clear. No Creative Knitting Magazine. Okay, they're wonderful people. It does look to appear to be a really great magazine. What I'm going to explain to you using this example, uh, you not, this this magazine is not being found. It is out there. So they're missing out on hundreds of thousands. Actually, they're missing out collectively. Let's look here, guys. So it's the top uh, amount of research here, 1,300 searches plus 2.7 million searches plus 18,100 plus 173,000. Right now, they're missing out on um, you know all what um, three three almost four million searches a month because of the site structure the way that the website is is set up okay and they're just missing out here's the sad part about it all they're a magazine it's a it's a magazine and I think it's it's really important for them to get into this in great detail just like it's important for you to look at detail okay so remember number one was research so let's click back over on that tab real quick and again just in really brief review. I went to Google AdWords, and I took the terms that I feel probably people are searching for. Now, remember something, guys. I be wrong. These might not be the terms because I'm not the publisher of this magazine. Okay? So look down through uh, the competitive analysis here. Look down through the competition and the competitive analysis. Well, there's about 5 million searches that are potentially available, but they're not being found. When we look for knitting, they're not being found. They're not even found for knitting patterns, which seems to be something that's really important to them. Okay? And part of this, though, in found online is, is chatter. How much chatter is happening online about their particular magazine? Okay? How do you find that? What you do, and why is it important? Chatter is important because Google is, unfortunately, it's kind of like a giant popularity contest. It really is. Um, what it means is, you, uh, how many times people are mentioned you online? How many links do you have coming back, back to you? Okay. Now, what I've done is I've named the .com name, and you can do this as well, and placed it in quotes. Okay. Do you, so follow me in Google here real carefully. So quotes, creating.com. And then what I've done is I'm going to click search. Okay. And what this is, is going to pull back every page out there right now that has CreateKnittingMagazine.com on it, which is usually an indicator to me. Uh, many other websites actually have my web address on it, but it gives me an idea of how many people have linked back to me. Now, if you're a technical person that's um, watching the webinar today, that's, this is not exactly back, uh, chatter and backlinks, but this at least you a really good indication. Okay, so the first one is the magazine themselves. Okay, so what we do is we want to scroll down the page until we get away. Okay, so the first occurrence here, and there's a couple of things I want to note here. The first occurrence is on freepatterns.com. You know, magazine.com, which is a link back over to uh, their website in most cases. But look date on it. It's April 24th, 2009. Okay, that, that chat, that, that's, that's old. That's really old. Okay, let's keep scrolling down, look for some more, more things. Just go ahead and let's click on page like six of Google and see what's coming up. Magazine.com is appearing on GetFoo.com. Okay, we really know what that is. So, just as a publisher, I want to check that out, right? right. So let's go in and GetFoo.com. What is it? I just, it looks like it's a bunch of junk. To be honest, I don't know that website. So let's click off of it. Let's do CreativeWomanClub.com. You know, I actually it looks like it's another uh, something 
a magazine network. Let's go ahead and click forward. What I'm trying to do is find where are people mentioning you. Here's eHow UK. That's a great link to have a magazine on the, uh, on the Again, use my tool to find that, you know, pretty, pretty quick. There's the mention of their website right here. Now, it mentioned, so it's called a citation. There actually isn't a backlink because it's not a link at all to the, you know, to the website. Let's go quickly. Let's go over to yahoo.com. Let's see. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. In the air here. Let's go ahead and link. And the doc links colon in the dot com name on Yahoo. And um, let's see. I'm not getting it there. Let's go ahead and type in link and see what we're there. And so seeing here is you might get here and it says in links. Number of in links, inbound links is 114. 114 inbound links. And more than that. I mean, you obviously want to have as many as, as possible. But this is using Yahoo Site Explorer. Link, colon your dot com name and the occurrences you have over on, on Yahoo. This is an involved process. It requires you know some help from somebody that knows what's going on to help you get found. Okay? Well the way it leads us to the question of backlinks because it's really important for everybody to understand and see uh, you know what backlinks, you know what they mean and what what it actually uh, uh, looks like. Okay? You as many websites as possible to back to you, okay? So let me pull up a graphic to illustrate uh, what it is that I'm talking about, okay? You'll notice here on this graphic that's in the middle of the screen, you'll see a little thing that says My Site, okay? And you'll notice a lot of other websites that are out there back over to you, okay? At least what you want. What those, these big here, these are usually websites that are, you know, maybe some bigger websites, maybe media websites or websites that have a, a higher, what we refer to as a page rank. But overall, Google, all things being equal, okay, Google is going to be looking, you know, for you to have, you know, as many uh, links as, as, as possible, you know, to your, to your website. Because what it is, it's going to tell them, hey, this website is popular and it's got a lot of popularity. Giant popularity contest, I mean, if you think about it. So if you're in the middle, you want to have as many search engines pointing back to the website. What you also want is you want as many other websites as possible pointing to you, okay? For example, you here in the middle, potentially are linking all, you know, all over to you. And that's, you know, one of the things in this graphic example here in the middle that I think is so important for everybody to understand. You need a lot of backlinks. Now, you don't need garbage links. You don't need links that are coming from... Uh, be your child's soccer website or a knitting magazine, uh, links that are coming from a hot dog website or a fishing website. While links are okay, you'll notice in this example here, the yellow links are websites that are, are more relevant to you, that are to you. Now, look at a city and regional magazine, like, like many of you are, um, locals are going to want to link to each other. I mean, establish a linking campaign with the, the City uh, Community Visitors Bureau or the uh, Chamber of Commerce. If you don't already have that going on, that's something really important, okay? Because links are really, really, really important to your overall strategy, okay? Now, let's remember something. Let's go back and let's, you know, let's, let's review, okay? Three components to having really, really good SEO uh, success, okay? First is the research, and we're going to give you an example here in a second of Country Roads Magazine. The second is site structure. How have you set up your website to most best enhance, to most best enhance, that's funny, <laughs> to best enhance the phrases and those key terms, okay? The pattern, what's happening out there on the, on the Internet? How many occurrences of your website are occurring, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on Twitter, or it's on other websites, how many occurrences are called chatter, okay? And the second is the graphics that are still here on your screen, and that's links. What are you doing to, to establish more and more links, uh, you know, over to, to your website because it's just – uh, so uh, important, okay? So traffic on the backlinks example, it's important for everybody to understand that you need backlinks from multiple places. You need backlinks, you know, from social media pages, from our feeds. Uh, you need backlinks, you know, if you can, from uh, other magazines, locally, et cetera. Backlinks are just, just unbelievably important to your overall success. Those are the four main, main things, all right? Now, 
What I want to do and by the way, about this, just send me a, a, a mail over to Ryan at brainswellmedia.com. I promise you to an, I'll answer those emails as well as I'm happy to give you a review like this on your own, absolutely free. Um, as a customer of Shweki Media, 100% absolutely free of charge, okay? And then we can walk you through these strategies and help you further, all right? Okay, let's, let's take a, a look over at a website that is a customer of mine, uh, having good success, uh, being found uh, for uh, phrases that are to them, okay? Uh, there's a, a, some great folks. Uh, this is Westmoreland Publishing. They're Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the Country Roads Magazine. All right, Smith, Ashley, these guys, they just do a really good job, and they're really a pillar, in my opinion, of, of, of how to do things right, not because I'm working with them, but just because I think they've really embraced technology um, and done a, you know, a really good job. Let's take a look at one of their phrases, okay? One of the phrases that uh, they focus in on is um, Louisiana, oops, I got to spell it right, L-O-U-I. I A N A. Okay. And then let's focus on one of their phrases, which would be uh, cuisine. Okay. Let's type Q U I Q U I S I N E. There we go. Perfect. Okay. That's going to be one of the phrases that we're going to use. Now, Louise Cuisine, let's go first. Now, again, go through. The, so remember the four things research, site structure, chatter, links. Okay. Go to Google AdWords and type in Louisiana Cuisine. And let's click search. Okay, so how much is being done uh, for that? Okay, now that um, you know that's one of their key phrases, Louisiana cuisine. Okay, and right here, there's 880 searches. Now you see yourself. Okay, hold on for a second. Searches. Listen, that's one key word. Several that they're trying to be found for. Okay, now you know, it ties right into Louisiana recipes, which they're also found for. Louisiana cooking, food recipes, etc. Okay, so what we're doing is I'm giving you an example of what we did. ran research. Louisiana cuisine was one of the things. Collect what we did is we found that they've got they want to have a search volume of around thirty thousand that they can be careful for. So Louisiana cuisine. Okay. Now you'll notice there's eight other searches. Let's go. Right Let's try it all. Okay. <laughs> Pardon me. And look through and see. Uh, where to start? So start at the top. You've got Louisiana cuisine as a part of the title tags at the top of the page. Let's and find other occurrences of it. Let's highlight all here. Turn it on. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I can't see it real well. Here's an occurrence. Here, there's one, two, four occurrences there. You'll notice that under cuisine. Okay. If I can click on the next, you see it says cuisine here. When I go and click over particular section, then is noted here, read cuisine, and you're also going to notice as we scroll down through the page, you're going to notice multiple occurrences of Louisiana cuisine as well, all throughout the page, and you'll notice it's here in the bottom of the row, okay, and things that actually, you know, I might actually encourage them to do this, um, is actually this section should really be called Louisiana cuisine, that would help them even further, okay, so remember, we did the research, that they've got cuisine and Louisiana cuisine built into. Now, keep in mind, Louisiana is so prevalent on their website, Louisiana and cuisine together appear on the page a lot, okay? And so we're able to probably shortcut it a little bit by just putting cuisine on the page. If we're really going to get airtight on it, we make sure it says Louisiana cuisine, okay? When you click on restaurant reviews, you're again on this bottom of this page going to see Louisiana cuisine. You're going to see Louisiana cuisine mentioned here in the left rail. As well, okay. All right, structure. All right. Now we look at overall chatter. So let's go ahead and go to take their name, countrymagazine.com. Okay. Let's directly over to Google. I like how they how that that's working for them. So we're going to do quotes, country.com. All right, and let's click search. Thirty-seven thousand four hundred citations of countryroadsmagazine.com all over the Internet. You have to be asking yourself, okay, how do we get more citations? Well, you know, if you're a customer of mine, what we're doing is each month we're taking one featured article for you and we're putting the article out to 300 different SEO-driven websites to drive this number up. So if you type in the name of your magazine and it only appears, say, 300 times, you've got somebody to help you with this. You've got, you've got to really, really ramp this up. You really can't do this, you know, on your own. 
says this also gives us a relative number to let us know, you know, how many links are being found, you know, for the, you know, for the website. So as we scroll down, um, here's Fish House, here um, Head Keys. Go ahead and click over here, and there, uh, you know, how it is that they're mentioned. Um, here it's not a link, so it'd be better, you know, if it was uh, a link over to their website. But over, you know, what I'm trying to show you is just by doing some small things. I mean, they're really, really making a dramatic impact uh, upon search engine optimization. Let's uh, pop over here real quickly uh, to Yahoo. Let's take a look at the number of links that Yahoo is. I didn't do this before. So I'm, I'm doing this live with you right now on this webinar. So remember, we're going to type in link, colon. You got to get done with this webinar. You, gotta do, you need to do this on your own, all these things that we're talking about. Just talk about how it's going and how you're, how you're doing. Okay? Man, check it out. 1,929 in length. It's huge. It's a lot. I mean, I'd love to, have, to see it take, be 10,000. Just, I mean, it's absolutely uh, huge to use it as a, you know, as an example. Okay. So, you know, before we wrap up, today, let's give me, let's go ahead and look at another example. Somebody I've used before, a kind of mind holistic horse magazine. You notice right away that, you know, they're. Uh, Look at the top. Their main phrases are going to be equine massage therapy, equine health, horse health, equine therapy. So type in, I've not done this. We're doing this all live, guys. I've not done any of this in pre advance. Let's uh, equine health. And let's look at the occurrences of equine health on the page. Uh, down the page and see. Okay, so there's one there. Uh, there's another one. So they can health on the page a couple of times. Maybe they could add a few more. Those maybe over here in the right, uh, in, you know, in the right rail, you know, or something like that. Let's go ahead and look at equine massage once and see how they, how they do that. Hey, look here, so they've got equine therapy is one of their big uh, phrases. So the therapy right here is one of their drop down. So that's great to have that as a part there. So equine therapy tag is equine therapy, which is just really really great. You'll click highlight on this page. Uh, we've got equine health is on as well. That's really, really great. Look, it says equine therapy right on the management system. You notice a lot of things right. Go ahead. From a, so they did the research. Obviously, so we didn't do that step with them. But let's go look and let's go punch them into Google. Um, and here, whoops, go to Google. And let's put them into Google, holisticcourse.com. Let's see how many occurrences um, they have. 11,700, not bad for, you know, a smaller magazine. You know, it obviously could be uh, you know, better, and we can work with them. I, I don't do SEO for Holistic Course. They just happen to be uh, over there as just a, a really great publisher, longtime friend uh, of the company. And I'm uh, going to check out, um, let's go over to Yahoo, you know, .com. Again, guys, just check this out and see with the uh, links, link, colon. And that, 1,300 in links. I mean, that's really great. Um, really great. So as we roll through this process, I think what's really important for all of you to understand is four key pieces to search engine optimization. And the first is to do the research. Because if you're found a magazine title, the name of the magazine, honestly, who cares? I mean, really, because unless, you know, and oh, that's what I didn't do real quick. Let me type in, let me type in Holistic Horse Magazine real quick. Country Roads Magazine, because that's a, an important part of the, of the process, is for you to that just because you type in your magazine name doesn't mean that you're doing well when it comes to search engines. So let's look at type in Holistic Course Magazine, only 36 searches. I mean, come on, that, I mean, that's not, that's not good. I mean, that's, that you can't optimize and know that you're, so if I type in Holistic Course Magazine here, here take size this point, okay, and I go to Yahoo and I type that in and I click, you know, explore, you know, pop up, pop up first. And so many publishers look at that, and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm number one on Google. Well, you are number one on Google, but nobody's searching for that. Only 36 people. So it doesn't matter. Any things to remember about this whole process, guys, is that, you know, I'm up. I'm, not, I'm just reporting the weather. I can't make the weather. And so look through this process. I hope that you're coming to a realization the way that I'm coming to a realization uh, as we're going through this process, that is that, you really know what it is that people are searching for, and you 
website. So remember, that's the first thing, research. Second thing is you need to set up your website so that you can go for those, those things that people are searching for. Okay. The third thing is, I mean, how much chatter is happening on the Internet? Do you have a lot of links and occurrences out there on the Internet, people linking back to you and talking about you on Facebook, on Twitter, on Delicious, Newsvine, Furl, Fark? I mean, there's so many things that it's important for you to understand and important for you to consider. And then you've got that last thing, which is links, the number of link people linking back to you. And if you have a lot of links, I mean, you're just going to get lost to the, you know, to the Internet. So, I mean, it's just really important for you to take all these things, you know, into, uh, into consideration. And the last part, in my opinion, of the, you know, of the whole process is I really believe that you have to, um, you know, look and potentially then enlist the help of, of professionals um, like Brainswell Media to help you really get to the top. It's there's just too much out there got you to uh, be able to remember on your own. And so I think it's you know really important for you to you know get a hold of of, of people like us to help you with that. So this has been you know a really good uh, you know proposition for you today and, and a good a good expenditure of your time because if you spend so much time yeah, yeah, and you spend a ton of time. Engine optimization, you truly are missing out on an, an integral piece of your overall success as a magazine publisher. So the reason I brought up my website is when you come over to the website, there are actually uh, SEO videos uh, that you know you can that you can watch, and so you're able to uh, go over here uh, to to this video, and you can click then over on YouTube, and it's going to bring up uh, other videos you know for you to uh, consider and for your consideration uh, for. Yeah, and you can also click on the SEO tab to learn more about it. So that's my sales pitch there. In conclusion, as I really feel it's really important for you to spend time looking through and exploring search engine optimization. It's very possible that you, like many other publishers, will need to reach out for help, and that's okay. Is this an expensive proposition? No, absolutely it is not. If you do get help on this, it costs approximately $300 per month to get help uh, to work through these uh, situations. And why is it an ongoing uh, process? It is because link come and links go. This is something It's like changing your oil. You have to constantly do this each and every month. It's not something you can do one time and walk away from. You really need to be creating new links. And if you don't have the staff to do it, you need to hire someone to do it. And that's where people like me come in uh, as well. Okay? So remember, research, site structure, chatter, and links. Are the things that are going to be critical to your success when it comes to the internet. I appreciate guys. I hope that this has been very beneficial to you for you to report back to Steve and to Gall and to Dave and at Shrekey Media. If you've got other questions and comments, send me an email over to Ryan at brainswellmedia.com and I'm happy to answer those uh, for you as well. And as always from all the folks at Shrekey, we appreciate your business very, very much. Have a good day and good luck with your search engine optimization. And remember, when you're found on the internet, that's the key to success of growing traffic and to keep making money when it comes to your website. Next, we're going to talk about great site structures for making money.